Ladies and gentlemen, introducing our first 2007 California Wrestling Hall of Fame inductee, Mr. Dick Morris. His official presenter tonight will be Mr. Dave Alexander, a good friend and fellow official. Okay, just a minute. I'm going to, I'm going to introduce you first. Oh, sorry. Dick's anxious to speak here. Let me tell you a little bit about Dick first, okay? Dick was, Dick was a high school wrestling coach at Edgewood and Corona Del Mar High School for a combined total of 16 years. Although he did an outstanding job as a coach, he is really known for his ability as a wrestling referee. He has been a wrestling referee for the past 45 years. Dick has officiated all of the major high school and community college wrestling tournaments in the Southern California area. He officiated the California Interscholastic Federation Southern Section Masters Tournament for 29 years. The CIF Southern Section Regional Qualifying Tournament for 30 years the prestigious Five Counties Invitational, the CIT, and the Eldorado Tournament since 1977. He has officiated the past 18 years at the CIF State High School Wrestling Championships. Dick Morris has also been a leader in Southern California officiating. He served as the president of the Southern California Wrestling Officials Association for three terms the president of the Orange County Wrestling Officials Association and the Orange County Wrestling Officials Association assignment chairman since 1991. He also serves as a member of the CIF State Official Selection Committee. He was selected as the Southern Section Wrestling Official of the Year in 1972 and in 2004 Dick Morris was presented with the Golden Whistle Award by the California Wrestling Officials Association. Dick is also a member of the California Wrestling Hall of Fame Executive Committee. He has served as a team leader on a cultural exchange trip to Japan. Dick was inducted into the Orange County Athletic Hall of Fame in 2005. Ladies and gentlemen, inducted into the 2007 California Wrestling Hall of Fame, Mr. Dick Morris. Oh my God. Okay. Hello. Does this work? Testing, one, two. Testing, one, there we go. Boy, there's a lot of pressure up here being first because I thought I was going to be last alphabetically and I thought everyone would be uh, happy to uh, hear a real short speech and I'd be out of here. So I'm going to go with my long speech, which is about two hours long. No, no, no. no. Uh, my daughter and my wife and I timed my speech uh, this afternoon out on our patio. The first presentation was eight minutes. We cut it down, and it's now about four. So anyway, here it is. <clears throat> yeah, this is a great honor. Uh, I'm overwhelmed at the opportunity to be inducted into the California Wrestling Hall of Fame. I want to thank some people who I know made it possible for me to be inducted. Uh, first, I'd like to thank my family for all of their support and the years of coaching, my years of coaching career and wrestling officiating. To my beautiful wife, Diana, for all of her support. My three children, Jody, Troy, who flew in from Chicago, Illinois for these ceremonies. And last but not least, my daughter Dana. To Lynn Dyke for his support of my officiating for the state tournament for the past 17 years. And finally, to my fellow wrestling officials who many are in attendance at this banquet. And especially to Don Cawthon, a good friend and fellow official who started officiating with me in 1961. I especially want to mention two men who I consider to be my mentors for both officiating and coaching. First for coaching was Fred Burry, who is a longtime uh, wrestling coach at Mount San Antonio Junior College and currently in the National Wrestling Coaches Hall of Fame. Fred, uh, uh, during my first years as head wrestling coach at Edgewood High School in West Covina, Fred really helped me in my coaching uh, and also helped many of my uh, wrestling team members. He. He instilled in my uh, a winning philosophy that became very successful. For officiating, it was Fred Owens, a longtime wrestling coach 
and athletic director and administrator at Orange Coast College and Golden West College, Junior College. Fred was president of the Orange County Wrestling Officials Association and an outstanding wrestling official. He was the one I patterned my officiating after. Fair but firm, have fun and enjoy yourself while on the mat. And if you get bored, you had better wake up because the greatest move in the history of wrestling is about ready to happen. And you better be ready to call it. Fred was the originator of the Orange County Wrestling Officials Association and has become one of the top officials. Uh, it has become one of the top officials associations in the state. In all of my years of wrestling, I have seen lots of changes. When I first started coaching in 1961 at Edgewood High School, we wrestled on a 20 by 20 felt hair mat with a vinyl plastic cover. And now the mats are huge, like 36 by 36, 40 by 40, soft, easy to land on, and not many injuries. The heavyweight maximum weight in 1961 was 212 pounds. So a lot of guys were not able to wrestle because the weight class was not high enough or too, uh, the weight was too low for them to compete. No headgear were required. A lot of wrestlers got cauliflowered ears because they didn't, they weren't required to wear headgears. And my most uh, embarrassing moment in officiating occurred at the state tournament three years ago when I received the Golden Whistle Award. The Golden Whistle Award is a really nice award. It has a gold whistle in the center of a plaque with your name on it stating that you're the recipient of the award. And I officiated a final match. And I went up on the platform in front of 8,000 people, ready to call the greatest match I've ever called in my life. And I forgot my whistle. <laughs> and I had to borrow a whistle from my assistant. So that was a little bit embarrassing. In closing, wrestling has enriched my life. I will always value the relationships that I have had with coaches, referees, and of course the wrestlers because that's what it's all about, the wrestlers. Thank you. Pose for the camera. Look at the camera. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Dick Morris.